Okay, I am at the Emily Trafogen Park. I hope I'm pronouncing that correct. In Delaware County, Ohio. First time here. Not a big park. It's got a couple small little trails. Uh, this one looks like it's pretty wooded. And the other one looks like it goes through a meadow. Trail looks pretty maintained, pretty well kept up. Okay, <clears throat> this is a loop trail, I believe. So I guess it really doesn't matter which way we go. Come back out here anyway, so according to the map, there's a few ponds out here, and I think I've seen an overlook trail. I don't know if that's overlooking what a pond, I'm gonna assume. This is a pretty flat area, so I doubt it's going to be overlooking a uh, cliff or anything. Oh, it's just here. Okay, just dirt closure. After I'm done here, I'm going to head up to Deer Haven. I've been to Deer Haven before, but I've never hiked all the trails. Again, there's not a lot. It's not a big park. But uh, it seems like every time I go to Deer Haven, it rains on me. And I never get a chance to die. What heck is that over there? Oh, we're definitely about to go over. <laughs> Let's see what that is. Something just caught my attention. Anyway, every time I go there, it seems to rain on me, so I never get a chance to do all the trails. overlook let a box store suggestion uh, let's see a there was a curious fox who loved to sing b there was a shy praying mantis who wanted a friend c there was a small owl who lost its way okay so it's pond overlook but this thing caught my attention <laughs> assume this was one of the dinosaurs that was lived in this area back in the day iguanodon these dinosaurs weighed in at 4.5 tons and measured 9 feet tall 33 feet long they were herbivores and ability to stand on their back legs to reach higher vegetation Guys can read it. Uh, 
How'd you like to be walking out through here and running into something like that? Herbivore, it's still a good size. Hippos are herbivores. They're also very dangerous. Just because something doesn't eat meat, don't mean it won't hurt you. Let's see what this pond overlook is over here. A lot of duckweed. Goes a great blue heron out there. Down that tree, palm tree. A little bench to sit on. Frog is jumping into the water. All right, the trail, name of the trail here is White Tail Loop Trail. The other trail here is the Meadow Trail. We're gonna go ahead and hike both of them. There's only a couple cars in the parking lot when I was out there. Somebody was in both of them. So, I'm not expecting to run into anybody out here on this trail. They do have modern restrooms at the beginning and it looked like they had a small pavilion where you can maybe picnic. I didn't notice if there was any grills. I'll have to look when I leave so I don't forget. But this park is on uh, Seldom Scene Road in Delaware County. Wetland in there. 
cattail. We are in the 90s today, and I think we're going to be in the 90s tomorrow, and then next week, we're supposed to be hit with a cold front on Monday, which is going to cool it back down next week until around the 80s. That should be a nice little relief. little breeze right now that does feel good I don't know if I'd say that's an animal trail possibly there's a nice another little pond, even though I don't see much water. Like I said, according to the map, there are this trail is dotted with a few little ponds out here. Wetlands. Keep my eye out for more dinosaurs. Looks like we got something up here. Another one. I'm looking at the back side of it, so I can't tell what it is yet. Let's see when we get up here. It's another one of these little story <laughs> story things here. Another box story suggestion. The moral: befriend someone different from yourself. The moral: in life, things happen around us. Things happen to us, but the only thing that matters most is how you choose to react. See, the moral, never be afraid to ask for help. I like these little things, they're pretty interesting. Pretty cool. That tree's seen its better day. Okay, what we got up here? This here kind of dinosaur we got. I like how they use these little educational things along the trail. Oh, these don't look like a nice guy. Allosaurus. Twenty-eight feet long, weighed two tons due to their light bones. Carnivore and a scavenger, so he's definitely a meat eater. Ah, so despite its huge jaws, their bite is actually wor weaker than a crocodile. Interesting. There's going to show the relationship between the Allosaurus and man. It's 
So it looks a little like a small T-Rex in a way. But coming up on it, seeing them teeth, I can tell you it's not going to be a nice guy. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Okay, we're coming back to the end of this loop. Did we read this little box story suggestion? No, we didn't. A, before the world became as it is today, B is... A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, and see many years ago in a small forest. Okay, so we're pretty much done with this trail. Um, I'd say it was probably less than a mile loop. Now we're going to go ahead and do the meadow, meadow trail. And those are the only two trails at this park. And then we'll move on, head over to uh, Deer Haven. Alright. Again, this is the white tail loop. Now we're going to Meadow Trail, and we got another dinosaur here. I'll be us try ceratops. Now I did not notice these before on the other ones. But it is a footprint. Definitely a lot bigger than my foot. <laughs> try ceratops. Six to eight tons, 30 feet long, 10 feet tall. Herbivores using their beak to grab plants while their teeth chew. Uh, last, it says here it's uh, one of the very last dinosaurs to evolve. Shows their relationship to man. Ten feet tall. Still a big guy. I will have to pay attention to the other ones to see. I didn't notice the little foot imprint there on the other ones. So if you come out here, check them. See if there's some there on the other ones we missed. So now we're on the meadow trail. Which means more open. Okay, the pond we were at earlier, when I was over there, it looked like there was something over here, but I really couldn't tell. But this is that pond we were at earlier, the pond overlook, remember that? Yeah, the picnic table here, nice place to come and have a little picnic. There's that tree, fallen tree that the heron was on earlier, and we were just way over there duck out there. Actually, there's a few ducks out there. Okay, this is a little bit better of a view here. And that, over there, that grassy area over there on the far side, that's where we were at earlier. down here. Uh, 
Okay, now this trail is also a loop. I would rather walk a loop than an out and back. So loops are fine with me. But, I don't think it starts there. It looks like, I don't know, some type of construction, something they're doing. Okay, looks like we got another dinosaur up here. Walking the, the dinosaurs on here just make it interesting walking the trail. We got a couple of them in the tractor. What do we got here now? I know I'm probably not going to pronounce this right. Gralator. 25 or 2.5 feet tall. Okay, they're just a little guy. Eight feet long, 50 pounds. Now you can pick them, pick them up. They were fierce carnivores. They hunted in packs. Sound like a wolf pack. You know, I don't watch all the Jurassic Parks, but it seems to me I watch a movie. Where these little critters ambush somebody. I don't know if it was on Jurassic Park or what it was. Here are their prints. Let's see here. Okay, not much bigger than mine, really. They're only two and a half feet tall. About the height of a wolf, maybe somewhere in that area. But they hunt in packs, so it's not one. <laughs> You're probably dealing with many of them. Caution trail improvements. Okay. Left or the right? Where do we want to go? Okay, this is a wetland habitat. I don't know what they're doing to it. See what that is way out there. Okay. It's just another one of these. Sunshine, so I'm hoping I'm getting this. Wetlands construction project partial middle trail closure begins July 12th for approximately one month. Okay. So are they building a wetland in here? Or are they Welcome to the story walk. Okay, well, we've already been experiencing that one, so. Looks like each one's got some information on it to read. For the youngsters. I'm not going to go through and read all these, but. If you want to put it on pause and read them. Hopefully it's getting clear. Like I said, I got the sun shining on me, so I'm not sure if I'm getting a good picture of it or not. This looks like the last one right here. Well, I do see some more signs up there, so maybe not. Seven. Okay, here we go. Look, there's some more. Eight. I hear people. But we are close to civilization, so. This is 11 here. Now 
and on both sides just try to keep them in order. It's only falling a little bit, so I gotta come down. That's 12. 13 looks like it fell off. Let's lay it down here. Hopefully they'll fix it. That's 13. 14 over here. I do apologize if I'm not getting them in clear, or all of them in, because the sun's glaring right into my phone here, so. I'm trying the best I can to actually try to look at it and see if I got them all in in, in a frame. So hopefully I did. Okay, here's a crossroads but according to the map I think this just exit the park onto another road city street yeah yeah it's just another entry point bicycle rack trail improvement no bikes no alcohol beverages Dogs must be on a leash. Well, it says pets, but I think that pretty much means dogs. I don't think anybody walks their cat or the rabbit, anything like that. Well, how are we going to see any more dinosaurs? That's it. it makes it interesting walking this just to see what dinosaur they come up with next. Got this little open area here. It doesn't say you don't walk in here, keep out like it did on the other side, but we're not gonna walk all up in here anyway. I'm just gonna go up here into the open area and see what is up here. Okay, that's where we just at over there. I don't really see an actual wetland in here, so it could be that they're getting ready to build one in here, which would be nice. This part doesn't have it, but Deer Haven, which is where we're going next, does have a nature center and usually has a naturalist there. I've talked to him or her and see if that's what they're doing here. They're actually building a wetland in here. And this is what we saw from the other side when we were over there. Looks like we're about done on this trail. Maybe a little bit shorter than the uh, whitetail loop trail.
So I guess if you come out here and walk both of these trails, they're probably both combined together less than two mile walk. Really short. But I think that's the end of the dinosaur since we're about ready to come back into where we mer we separated off. And we're back where we started. Okay, we're back out here in the parking lot, and now I'm the only one, only one here. Looks like kids play area over there, picnic area over here. I'll walk over there and see what's in there. If you can real food or gotta bring your food prepared there's a picnic table there and other than this picnic table over there and the one we just saw by the pond this little area over here looks like the only place to picnic and there's just a couple I don't know if you have to reserve it. Uh, it's just basically first come, first serve. Let's see what the sign here says. There's a grill, so you can grill. Collecting firewood prohibited. In other words, you don't go in there and get no firewood, which is understandable. Park rules at the kiosk. That doesn't say anything. See, you got some horseshoe pits over there. There's a box over there. They may have the horseshoes in there, so you may not have to bring your own. They do have a fireplace, but it is locked. Looks like an electrical outlet. Another one over here. Can't say if they're live. But, right here's your grill. And I say park rules available at the kiosk. And there is a play center. So it's a little park, but it's got some things to do. And it doesn't look like a real busy park.